Hey YouTubers and gamers, and yep, yeah, he's back. Uh, but yeah, another collection video today. Well, not a collection video, I'll pick up video, what I'm saying. Um, a, bit of a selection, not a huge amount of games, um, more accessories and hardware than anything else, really. So, without any further delay, let's start off with uh, one of the accessories for the PC uh, Engine um, Mini. I've got the 8 bit do Bluetooth wireless controller, and it's up here. Yeah, it, it basically is very similar to the, the wired controllers, but obviously Bluetooth. Um, it feels just like the wireless controller in many ways, all the controls and everything. The D-pad, I said it matches the wireless controller, but I was hoping or wondering whether or not the other 8 bit do the M30 controller, which is really good as we know, if that would work on a PC Engine a Mini. I couldn't get it to work, uh, even using a different dongle, couldn't get it to pair, which is a shame because the D-pad on this is better for shooters, whereas this one, it's okay, it's okay, but it's a bit uh, more primitive, I suppose, compared to the luxury of this, but it does the job, it does the job. Okay, okie dokie, uh, one game on the PS2, Sh uh, shooter. Uh, Silphy Sil Sil the Lost Planet. Um, I don't want to pay for this really. Um, it wasn't a bad price. I think it was. Just, I think it was about the ten pound mark. I think eBay. Not a bad price. Uh, doing to PS4. One VR game which I got part of a two for twenty deal for that game. Persona Free. Dancing in the Moonlight and then Tempest 4000 uh, that wasn't part of a 2 for 20 deal, that was just uh, reduced, I think it was about 8 quid or something uh, part of a 2 for 20 I got the Day 1 edition for Raging Loop now I I'm not, didn't know much about this game it's one of those um, sort of um, immersive um, video games whereby it's like a graphic novel type thing and uh, and basically the story is, it says, The feast has begun. Can you escape the village alive? Immerse yourself in a thrilling psychological horror of visual novel. Ancient gods have come back to hunt the villagers down one by one, preventing everyone from ever leaving. And so, yeah, it's, um, it comes with like a... Um, let's come up again. I think it was like an art book, if I'm right. I think he does. <laughs> I can't remember now. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it looked interesting, and again, that was part of a 2 for 20, so it's for 10, so I thought not bad for day one edition. Uh, also, I got I got this a while back, I've been playing a, a bit actually. Tricky Towers, which is like a Tetris type game. A, this is best when you're playing opposite somebody else, I think. I've done it but, but by myself too, but single player, but well. Uh, playing two player with uh, my daughter Caitlin has been you know, a fair bit of fun actually so it's um yeah it's a bit like Tetris Plus type thing it's not just Tetris you've got to build towers and different gameplay elements and it's, it's not bad it's quite a cheap game I think it was about eight or nine pound from Amazon and it's by Sodesco so keep an eye out for that guys if you like to test Tetris um, again this was part of a two for treaty deal Jurassic World Evolution uh, that's a good price for that game and uh, One Piece World Seeker. Again, that's part of a 2 for 20 deal, so I thought that weren't too bad. Okay, turn to PlayStation 1. Um, now, I was going to get the UK Power copy of this, but that sort of. That was a. <laughs> the cheapest I could see that ever going for was about £40, £45. And, um, and, and the bath, really. And I was able to spot a, 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 you know, a copy of the game from Japan for it was quite a good price as well. So it was about fifteen quid in clean shipping, and that is G Darius. Now, obviously, it being in Japanese makes no difference really to a gameplay, and so um, you know this one supports a dual shot too. Uh, 
very soon with the original power copy that supports the dual shot. But anyway, um, yeah, it came with the little, I don't know what they call those now, the little the paper bits at the end. The name escapes me now. But uh, yeah, I thought 15 quid, I said, you know, that's a better deal than paying £40 plus for a power copy. And it is a shooter, so like I say, it doesn't have to be in the generic version. They all play the same, really. Okay, a uh, couple of games on Dreamcast. I think this is about 40 I think it's about £40. Power Stone 2. This game's obviously gone up a lot in price. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's in the old days, obviously, you could have got that for about 25 30 quid easily. Not nowadays, it's, you know, it does bubble around the £40 plus mark, unfortunately, really, so... That's what I found with a lot of Dreamcast games, certain titles are sticky, very sticky with prices, and they tend to be quite high. Um, import game, um, little um, shooter, um, uh, Eddie Roller Call, um, you showed this on this channel, you got it for, uh, you know, next to nothing, his copy, yeah, but um, this one I've got from Japan was about 15 quid for shipping, so it's still not a bad price. Uh, i still got to get Death Crimson 1, the first one. They're both shooters, like gun games, and um, I think, um, you know, the first one is, is a lot more expensive than the second, so I don't know why that's the case. You would have thought the second would be more expensive, wouldn't you, really? But, hey, ho! Um, now for, some, for somebody who's completed his Saturn collection, or, you know, collecting for Saturn, sometimes, you know, I'm still picking up a few, one or two games, and this is another one, which I hadn't had, it's Gale Racer, I got this, I think it's about £12 with shipping, and uh, this is quite, uh, you know, a, a um, not bad a racing game, and obviously it's Sega inspired, you've got a little Sonic the Hedgehog, um, little t sort of furry toy up and by your um, top of your um, where you would normally have your um, uh, mirror, uh, inside wing inside mirror where we'd have your inside mirror you would yeah, I think he moves left to right little Sonic so it's um you know I think it's a bit of a classic game for Saturn so again for that sort of price I'll also pick it up plays fine. Okay, from CX I got this for. It's about twenty pound mark, which I thought weren't bad, and that's Detective Pikachu. Slowly completing my 3DS collection. I think it's only about another thirteen games I want for the 3DS. Okay, on the Mega Drive, um, I'm slowly getting there with my um, Mega Drive collection. There's about another, t I think it's about oh yeah, a two, two, maybe three more games I've got to get really. And this is a, a genuine UK copy, quite a good condition, 15 quid with, with a pristine manual. And that is Super Smash TV. Now, um, I didn't really know, know too much about Super Smash TV, and uh, obviously with Xeno Crisis uh, being quite popular with us games at a minute, which I've got, um, I, as a collector, really, if you like Xeno Crisis, you, you should pick up Smash t um, Super Smash TV because it's very similar. It's obviously the, the granddaddy of Zinner Crisis, I suppose. Uh, a game on the 360, again, I, I'm really get close to finishing collecting for 360. It's about another four or five little games I've got to get. This was about a £6 mark, it's nothing special. It's, it's just Night at a Museum 2, uh, the video game. Fan of the movies, so. And. Um, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this is a 360 exclusive. I don't think it was on the PS3, so do I have it? Uh, Alright, got this for a, s a steal. I think it was about 15, 16 pound mark from CX. <laughs> Resident Evil 2 on the Xbox One, but it's a ventricular slave version. So you know, in CX they price these sort of games the same as the standard ones. So to get this um, sleeve version. For my Resident Evil collection, it's a must. Okay, um, this other game is a Japanese shooter. Uh, the original game, the first game in the series, is called Radagy, which you can get on the Wii on the part of the Ultimate Shooting Collection. And uh, there's a sequel called uh, Radagy Noah, uh, also known as uh, uh, Radagy Noah, as it is called. And that's it. Now, 
this game, you can also get it on the 360, a slightly different version of the same game on the 360, but that goes for a lot of money. I think that's about, um, I think it's about 70 pounds or something. It's not cheap on the 360. And so um, I was thinking of getting uh, the Wii version because it tends to be low in price. And I actually got this from the States and from America of all places, even though it's a Japanese game. It would have been about £24 or something, but then I got hit by, you know, usual custom charges and import duties and all the other excessive charges. So at that time, that kind of pushed it up to about a £50 mark, unfortunately. Which is um, more than, I, you know, it's more than I would have wanted to pay, but there you go, it's still cheaper than buying the 360 version. But what's good about this version of the game, Reggie Noel, it also comes with a second game called Ilmatic Envelope. Um, you can see that, Ilmatic Envelope. It's not one to write home about, it's not a fantastic second game of all games, it's a bit crazy just trying to work out what's going on. But the first game, the main game, Reggie Noel, is well worth having on the on a Wii, and obviously if you've got um, a modded Wii like I have, you can you know, play your um, uh, import games without any issue, so that's nice. So, but the first strategy on the Ultimate Shooting Collection, which is the Mail Can We Exclusive, that's really must to own to have. But also got the second game. Okay, turning to a Switch, got a few helpful Switch pickups. Got um, this was quite cheap. I think this was about it was about twelve pound from the game. It's Victor Fran Overkill Edition, which is a bit of a I think it's like a top-down manic. Um, I'm not sure if it's a bit like uh, you just go around killing and destroying everything top-down. It's a bit like um, um, I guess in terms of looks, it looks like a Diablo game, but it's not. But uh, it's, it probably plays more like a God of War game in, in that respect. But anyway, it's, it's nice to have for a collection. I've got this on the PS4 already, but to get the Switch edition, it's quite a good game for the Switch. For £12, I thought, you know, I'll, I'll do that. So, and it's physical, it's actually on the cartridge. And sadly, I'm noticing on the on the Switch, there are many games that have been released as like a, a download code only and not the physical cartridge. So that's a real shame, if you ask me. Okie dokie. Strange, I did have a beer around here and it's gone walkies, I don't know what I've done with it. Yeah, my wife's got it. Nick, can you pass me a beer? Yeah, what beer? It's over by the post. Over there, over there. She's good for a few things, like fetching beer. Thank you, my love. Here we are, darling. Thank you. Under a thumb. <laughs> anyway, back to Epic Games. Okay, um, yeah, um, a Nintendo stall uh, version of Deadly 2 Premonition. This is quite nice, it comes with a little notepad and it also comes with a, a large uh, fold out map. So, a bit of a bargain to get those little extras for free with the game. So that's from the Nintendo Store, Daily Premonition 2. Uh, the first one was also released on Switch, which I got in a nice little collector's set. And it was previously released on the is it? Xbox 360, isn't it? And PS3, you can get as well. Which I do have those versions. But to have the, the sequel is also a must. Own. Also, um, when I was in game, uh, the UK store, I saw this on uh, by the, the till, and um, all brand new in pristine. And I asked how, the guy how much it was, and it was about uh, the sixty pound mark. And I thought, actually, that's not a bad price for that because I know, it's, you know it was not more than that when it first came out, and the tend to go for not quite about over about hundred pound mark anyway now on Amazon, and that is. Dame, um, Damon, I'm sorry, I think you pronounce it Damon or Demon, Machina X, and this is an Orbital Limited Edition, and obviously it, it comes with loads of goodies. It comes with uh, a statue of the of, uh, of a Mech you control, a still book, a 100 page art book, and uh, yeah, a little nice um, pattern box too. So 
Yeah, I thought for £60 mark. I thought that's not bad actually. There's also a special grip controller which you can get for the made by Hoy, which um, which goes on the side of the Wii you can get as well. I'm not Wii, uh, the Switch. Um, so I think I may, if I, if I can get that for a reasonable price, I think it's about a photo camera, I may get those controllers too. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay. Last thing guys. I finally picked up, and I've been looking out for a good price on this, because the price has gone up recently, but I was still able to get from Amazon before the price went out, but one of these bad boys for £125, which I thought was not a bad price. And that is this, the Neo Geo Pro Stick, uh, obviously it's all brand new, but um, it's a bit of a history of regarding this, so uh, when this first came out I was a bit put off by the looks of it, this is what it looks, you know, you know what it looks like, you've all seen them, the colour scheme, and with a big red arcade stick and the usual Neo Geo colour scheme buttons and the white finish and I was kind of oh, I weren't too sure I weren't that you know the, the look of it didn't wasn't that appealing to me originally because I thought it looked a bit like an old like you know kiddified a bit like a Fisher Price toy and so I thought I might I'll leave it for a few months and perhaps they'll bring out a different colour version perhaps a black version or something with a different colour scheme like they've done with the little arcade minis they've done I'm not you know the the cab little mini ones they've done you know what I mean so um Anyway, I left it, and then uh, I was been watching a few YouTube channels, and uh, I found out that they've, you know, they brought out a hack for it, and uh, watched this channel, and it's quite, and found out it's quite, actually, it's quite easy to mod this controller too. So I thought, hmm, that's interesting. I'm quite intrigued by that. So I looked into it in terms of how you go about hacking it, and and how easy it is to mod, and I thought I could do that. So that's what I've done. So let me show you what I've done. Here's the controller now. I've um, replaced uh, obviously the buttons with um, Samwell buttons. I got them from Arcade World, which supply genuine you know products by Samitsu and Samwell and other makes. And also uh, from them, I got this professional back top transparent um, uh, controller top, and it's quite good because you can't see any. Um, seal around the top where you can on a cheaper version it's all completely clear and smooth so it's really good quality um, controller knob really and um, it's quite straightforward to take apart and swap the controls over they you know just click in they do and I got a little um, for about s I think those buttons and the control knob were about 16 to 18 pounds in total and for about seven pounds I've got a Sanwa um, 16 gig memory stick um, dongle thing, which is what you need for the hack. So if you're interested, what I'll do, I'll show you what I've, you know, what I've done to this, how I've hacked it, and to see if you, you know, see what you guys think of it really. So without further ado, let's go and look at the the, the setup on the, on the screen. To see how I can do this. Alright guys, um, excuse for the poor catching conditions, I don't have a proper screen catcher so we just have to make do with what we got. So I turn on the arcade stick, I greet it with this. Now, if you were to hack it, you normally go through straight into a Neo Geo ASP, which you've probably all seen before on videos. And basically it's up the standard 20 games that come with the, the console and that's the format yeah and since then uh, SNK have allowed you to unlock um, the next I don't know if, it's, uh, if it, there are another 20 games on the system which are locked and they've gradually I don't know if they've done all 20 but they've allowed you to unlock them and there are hacks out there which allow you to uh, to unlock all those uh, other trade games so you can have the 40 games that's actually built into the console okay but with the, the hack I've got, I've got which is done by a group called Hilo um, 
uh, you don't need to worry about that. So let's go into the high low hack. Okay, turn it back on again. Go down to what we call the high low stick, press A. Neo Geo high low MVS. So yeah, we've gone for the blue art scheme. Uh, but the art background there, you can actually switch that out for almost anything you want really. On the memory stick I've got, I've actually got this blue uh, background. You can, the, on that same memory stick there's a red background. Uh, but actually I like the blue. It sort of um, complements my, my um, I don't know if it complements the controller colour scheme more than the red. But obviously you can switch it out. Also you may notice a few subtle changes to what you saw on the, the Hilo stick mode, I mean the actual original arcade, the Geo arcade uh, mode, and that is that we have uh, Terry, Terry from the um, uh, Fate of Fury games and uh, King of Fighters games, we've got Terry, animate Terry go along when, as she slept the game. Also at the top of the game, in black, you'll see the title of the game coming up so if you don't recognize the game from the picture art you can obviously read it and here you'll notice that uh, there are 245 arcade games which is nice isn't it and i just quickly go through them now what i've done is uh, these games have been tested so they all work there's no slowdown and uh, basically any games that didn't work um, but there was slowed down or it didn't work at all or the controller did, I wasn't able to um, work properly which I know happened with AB Cop for example I've actually removed the game from the game list so it's not actually on a visible so uh, we got 1942, 1943, 1945 K3, okay, 3, 4D Fighters, 88 games 99 The Last War, Action Fighter, Air Attack, Air Buster Air Galley, which is a great game built on the cave engine. Orcon, Alex Kidd, Aliens, classic economic game, Alien Storm, Alien Syndrome, Alpha Mission, Alpha Jack, Astonax, is that how it's pronounced? Asterix, uh, Avengers, Engine Spirit, Armed Police Batrider, Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja, Bad Batman Part 2, which is like a Phoenix clone, I believe. Batsugugan, um, yeah, classic shooting game. Bat Atlantis, an Akari game. Battle Accrade, unlimited version. Uh, Battle Chopper, Battle Gregor, which is my favourite arcade ge game ever. Uh, Beirut, Bells and Whistles, The Berlin Wall, not played that uh, properly. I am um, Toy Black Tiger, which is a game that uh, I believe um, Alex was playing from um, Nintendo. Is it Nintendo Arcade? Isn't it? I think it's Nintendo Arcade. Just channel that name. But Alex, uh, yep, yeah, that's one there. I'll give that a go. Tough game. Later still, uh, Blaze On, Lockout, Bomb Jack, Bombs Adventure, Breakthrough, Burger Time. Buster Brothers, Cabal, Kadash, Cannon Dancer, Captain America and Avengers, Caveman Ninja, uh, Centipede, also that's Joe Mac, uh, Chase HQ, Chelnoff, Atomic Runner, Circus Charlie, City Bomber, The Cliff Air, Edward Randy, Combat School, Commando, Contra, Super Contra, Cotton, Crime City, Crime Fighters, Dead Connection, Demon's World, Desert Assault, Dig Dog, Joe uh Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong 3, Donkey Kong Jr., Don Patchy. It's really great to have more um, we'll cave series like Don Patchy. Unfortunately, Dolden Patchy didn't work. Uh, Double Dragon, uh, Double Dragon 2, Revenge, Double Dragon 3, Rosetta Stone, Dragon Breed, Dragon Master, oh, that's a very mediocre fire. Uh, Dragon Spirit Classic, uh, Dream Soccer 94, Dynamite Ducks, Earth Defense Force, Enduro Racer, Esperade, another classic K game. Really great to get that on this system. 
East SWAT, Cyber Police, Fantasy Zone, the final round, final, final Star Force, Fix 8, Fine Shark, Football Champ, Formation Armed Air, Frogger, Gaia Crusaders, Galaxian, Gallagher, Gag88, Galmeet, so classic games there, uh, Gal Plus, Go Go, Miles Smile, I don't know, Sue's Bean, Miles Smile, I don't really know that puzzle game much. Uh, Radius, I say puzzle game, I'm not sure that's more of a Pac Man clone, I'm not sure about that. Uh, yeah, Gradius Classic, um, uh, Great 10,000 Miles Rally, Guardians, Denjim Mackay 2, uh, Brilla War, Gumbo Classic, Gunsmoke Classic, Gyros, Grindstormer, Hammer and Harry, Hardhead, Hellfire, there's tons of good shooters in this. Hit the Ice, Hook, Ikari Warriors, Jackal, Jackie Chan, Kung Fu Master, Jackie Chan and Fist of Fire, JJ Squawkers, Junior Pac-Man, Kangaroo, Kid Nicky, Radical Ninja, Kingdom Grand Prix, Kung Fu Master, Legendary Warrior, Vigard, Legendary Wings, Legend of Hero Toma, Lemmings, Load Runner, Life Force or Salamander, Liquid Kids, Magical Cat Adventure, Magical Crystals, Mappy, Masked Riders Club Battle Race, Majinja Z, Metal Black, another classic, Michael Jackson, Moonwalker, Millipede, Mini Megalia 2, Great 1000 Miles Rally, Mission in Action, Marine Cresta, Mr. Goman, Miss Pac Man, Miss Pac Man Champion Edition, My Hero, Nemesis, um, which I think is, is that Gradius 2? Uh, Night Slashes, Ninja Gaiden, the Ninja Kids, Ninja Spirit, Nitro Ball, Omega Fighter, Osman, Outzone, Pack and Bang, uh, Pac Man, Pac Mania, Pain, Phidios, Phoenix, Pinball, Kuyon, Popeye, Prisons of War, Power Instinct, Clear Isle in 1930, Kudio Lee Ruler, not too sure about that one, Qbert, Rabbit Punch, Ride, uh, Ride in DX, Ride in 2, Rally Bike, Renegade, White City, Robocop, Robocop 2, Roger Armor Force, R Type 2s, Sabotum Bombers, Saint Dragon, Samurai Aces, Classic Game, Scramble, SAR, Search and Rescue, Secret Agent, Section Z, Sega Ninja, Shadow Force, Shalem Road, Sidearms Hyperdyne, um, Sight Dragons, um, Silkworm, The Simpsons, love it. Sky Soldiers, That Fight, Snow Brothers, Snow Brothers 2, Soccer Striker, Sonic Wings, Aero Fighters, Special Criminal Investigation, Spare House, Spy Project X, Spelunker, Spelunka 2, Squash, Street Fighter Alpha Warriors Dreams, and Alpha 2, and Zero, and Street Fighter 2, and New Challenges, Street Smart, Strider, Strikers 1945, 1945 2, Sunset Riders, Super Burger Time, Super Pac Man, Super Punch Out, Super Space Invaders 91, Super Volleyball 91, Super X, Teddy Boy Blues, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Arcade and Turtles in Time, Terra Force, Tetris and Tetris 2005, Thunder Lightning, Thundercade, Thunder Cross 1, Thunder Cross 2, Thunder Fox, Tiger Heli, Tiger Road, Time Pilot, Track and Field, Trojan, Truxton 2, Tumble Pop, Trim B, Twin Cobra, Wardner, Warrior Blade, Rastan Saga Episode 3, Wizard Fire, Wonder Boy Monster Land, Wonder Boy 3 Monster Layer, World Core, World Rally, WF, WWF Superstars, I R Kung Fu, Saxon. So yeah, quite a few um, interesting games there to see released. Let's quickly go into one and just show you what it looks like. Now, uh, the emulator on the, this arcade stick, it's not like um, um, one, like one RetroArch, unfortunately. It's, uh, I think it's a Linux-based system, so it's, it hasn't got the, I would say, the flexibility that um, other emulators may have, really. So you are limited by what arcade games you can have. Um, so it's, it's, it's not perfect by any means. Now, um, obviously it all plays as you expect, and if you press your options, you've got your all save states, you can see up to four save states here, which I've done before. I'll come back. 
But you notice actually when I go into things, there's little, more little Neo Geo counters which are cute, you know, metal slug counter there. So that's nice. And also you can adjust for control settings, so whatever you're used to, you can adjust them. Save settings, and back again. Uh, adjust the screen size as you can be expected. And the quality, just go for pixel scaling, don't really like the smooth scaling. Yeah, so it's all the stuff you expect to find anyway. So it's all the standard bits, which is really good of that, you know, that this hack does that. So cool, let's come out of that. Um, let's, go, let's come out of game all together because obviously you know what game looks like. Okay, so um, 245 working arcade games. Now, sometimes if you look on YouTube and everything else, you might see the latest version on this Halo hack and it may promise lots of other games including home console games. Now, I didn't want home console games because um, I don't need to. I've got a, a nice what your pie stick for things like that as well as my um, my um, uh, retro for it. So, um, there's no need for me to play the home console games. I really am interested in additional um, arcade games to play. Even though I, you know, I've got a lot of arcade games I can play on my Virtua Pi 2. Uh, you know, I wanted the Neo Geo stick for the Neo Geo games, plus, you know, it's the best arcade games. And I think I've pretty much out of these 245 I've done well, to be perfectly honest. I think there's really some really good arcade games there, and these ones are all working. Sometimes on the hacks, people promise you more games, but you may find that there's lots of doubles, there might be lots of slowdown. Um, Forty controls, not, not, basically they're not working properly. But I've gone through this with a fine tooth comb, removed the games that don't work, and basically it's quite complicated how you do that. You have to use the, you know, you have to go into the files on the computer, and and um, you know, but once you work out the location and how to um, remove um, uh, game titles from a local folder, you can do things. And I've learnt that. I've, I've spent uh, probably about. 20 odd hours learning how to do things on this really and there's a YouTuber, or two, Scarlet Sprites and another YouTuber, Johnny Lee, which I would have to thank for the videos they've done because they've definitely pointed me in the right direction on how to do things. Now this hack I've got here, this Hilo hack, is one of the older versions of the Hilo hack. There is a newer one, but to be perfectly honest, this older one does everything I want it to do because it basically, it, it's, it plays the games but also it um, it supports with you know the, the basic this very simple Neo Geo art style, which is what I got for this system, because um, it is a Neo Geo arcade stick after all. So I want it to respect the Neo Geo. So and I think it does the job. But first of all, let's see what we let's see what else we can do. Let's go into options, and I created a new folder over the old language folder called Game Selection, and we go in there, and we can change the Game Selection. So. We had the arcade games there, 245 working arcade games. Also, we've got the Neo Geo collection of 150 games, plus Capcom uh, library, all 80 of the CPS 1 and 2 games. So, um, yeah, I'll show you those in a sec, but first of all, let's quickly get a look at the Neo Geo. So you select them, and then do B return, and it won't automatically go into those games section. What you've got to do is turn it on and off. So the hack's not 100% perfect, but it's a, you know, it's a, it's a five second fix, so it's not, it's no biggie. So you just re uh, start the system and it will go into that game selection library. So let's have a look. And here we are, 150 Neo Geo games. So let's quickly go through those. Free Camp Bounce, 2020 uh, Super Baseball, Aggressors of Dark Combat, Alpha Mission 2, Andro Junus. Uh, and why we're here, let's quickly go into it and see what it gives you options of how you play the game. So obviously, uh, different MPS versions, away AES versions, or oh, the latest Unibios MPS hack, which allows you to use obviously the different cheat modes and stuff like that, really. Um, and obviously it's still got the safe states and all the modes too, so um, basically, you know, to use the cheats you just press select and start together when you go into a game and it's just like a, a standard uni bias which um, you would see, so I'll quickly show you that. As so it goes into the game, press start and select together, and do that now. Okay. 
that's not. That's it's not. Yeah, we have a choice. Slant and start, or is it anything here? Hmm. Thanks, it. Let's try a different game. So, because that's a new and Neo Geo game, the Unibar setup may not necessarily work as it should do. Let me try a slant and start now. Yeah, that's it. So obviously because it was an Enduro, uh, a newer Neo Geo type game, it hasn't got this. So you go into the standard cheat database and it's all there, so you just select what you want. And then just see you exit and play your game with uh, the cheats or so, you know, settings you've got. Okay, and the games look fantastic on, on this system and we do the a better choice of um, screen options that you have on this arcade stick compared to the those little mini um, arcade cab things that they, they've, they've done on I know I've got a couple of those but I think this is a much better way of playing the games really myself although I, I, I think those little mini arcades I, I, think, I think they're all right actually for what they are but yeah I'm not going to bother playing this I just you know, wanted to quickly show you that so let's come out of this um, and go to uh, exit. Okay, so we have Alpha Mission 2, Enduro, Junos, Art of Fighting, Art of Fighting 2, Art of Fighting 3, Bang Bang Clusters, Bang Bang B, Bang B, Baseball Stars Professional, Baseball Stars 2, Battle Flip Shot, Blazing Star, Blues Journey, Breakers, Breakers Revenge, Burning Fight, Captain Tom Day, Cross Swords, Cross Swords 2, Cyber Lip, Digger Man, which is and we're a pretty mediocre game. Uh, Double Dragon, uh, Double Dragon 2, Rage of Dragons, 8 Man, Fate of Fury, Fate of Fury 2, Fate of Fury Special, Fate of Fury 3, Will Bout, Fate of Fury, Will Bout, Fate of Fury Special, Will Bout, Fate of Fury 2, Fight Fever, Football Frenzy, Galaxy Fight, Gamu, uh, Garou, Marco Walls, Ghost Lop, Ghost Pilots, Goal, 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 Galkaiser, uh, Guru Rin, Ironclad, the Irritating Maze, Jockey Grand Prix, Joy Joy Kid Puzzled, uh, Kabuki Clash, Karnoff's Revenge, The Kino Fight is 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, Kino Monsters 1 and 2, Kazuna Encounter, The Last Blade, The Last Blade 2, League Rolling, Legend of Success Joe, Last Hope, which is a really tough shooting game. Um, yeah, I can't get very far in that at all. Um, if you want an original copy of that game, you can get it on a Dreamcast that costs loads of money, and to be perfectly honest, it's tough as nails. Um, there's a slightly easier version called Last Hope Pink Bullets, but I don't think, again, that's what you're worth spending a fortune on because uh, it's just a frustrating game because it's just so di damn difficult so not for a light hearted anyway but anyway it's nice to have it on this uh, last resort uh, that's classic but it's still tough magical drop 2 magical drop 3 magician lord classic uh, match me melee uh, money puzzle exchanger metal slug all for metal slugs 2 x 3 4 uh, Mutation Nation Nam 75 Neo Bomberman Neo Cup 98 Neo Drift Out Neo Mr. Do, Neo Pong, Neo T of Turf Masters, Nightmare in the Dark, Ninja Combat, Ninja Commando, Ninja Masters, Over the, Over the Top, Pet Bomber, Pleasure Goal, Pochi Nara, Pop and Bounce, Power Strikes, Power Spikes 2, Prehistoric Isle 2, Polster, Puzzle Bobble, Puzzle Bobble 2, Puzzle Dupon, Puzzle Dupon R, Ragnar Ard, Guard, Ragnar Guard, whatever, <laughs> Wagner Hero, Rebel Army. So I show downs two, three, four, five, five special, five perfect, uh, Savage Rain, Sengoku Denshao, Sengoku Denshao two and three, Shock Troopers one and two, SNK versus Capcom, Soccer Ball, Sonic Wings two, Leo Fighters two, Sonic Wings three, Leo Fighters three, Spin Master, Stakes Winner, Step Winner two, Street Hoop, Strikers Fighting 45 plus, Super Dodgeball, Super Sidekicks, Super Sidekicks 2, Super Sidekicks 3, uh, Ultimate 11, SNK Football Champion or Super Sidekicks 4, the Super Spy, 
Tecmaco World 96. Um, as you know, with these game tiles, some of them are quite long. That's because I actually made sure that they are accurate and correct and typed correctly. So again, I've learned how to change the game titles too. And also I've learned how to change the game art, which you can do with any image you get off the internet. As long as you have the right pixel ratio, which I think is 254 by 299, I believe. Um, I could be mistaken on that, but I think it's that. Or was it 199? Okay, anyway. It's easy enough to do, as well as just saving them PMG files and saving the right location on the memory stick. But uh, yeah, so what else I learned to do. But some of the game art was incorrect or it was duplicated. So yeah, Trigger Star Sprites, Viewpoint, Vilna, Riku Riku 7, Windjammers, World Heroes, World Heroes 2, World Heroes 2 Jet, World Heroes Perfect, uh, Zedblay, Zintrick. Super, super, so that's it. And also, I've gone through all the game lists and make sure that they are in strict alphabetical order because that's sort of how anal I can be. Um, let's go come out and change the game set again. So let's go to game selection and let's go to Capcom games. Turn on, on and off. All right, so we've got 80 Capcom CPS games here. Um, I think somewhere in my yard goes, there's only 872 Capcom games, so that some of these are slight alterations of the Street Fighter games. So, anyway, let's go through them quickly 1941 Counter Attack, 1944 Loot Master, 19XX War Against Destiny, Three Wonders, Alien vs. Predator Classic. Armored Warriors, Battle Circuit, Cadillacs and, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Um, I say games classic, to be honest, all the CPS games are bloody good, it's, you know, let's be honest, so really to have the CPS games on the Neo Geo Arcade stick is a, it's a luxury, it's a real treat, and I do want to get the Capcom fight stick myself, but uh, I think it's only, like, it's only, like only 20 games on it, I believe. I know it's nice to have licensed versions of Pro Q and Alien vs Predator, but still, um, it's nice to uh, have a nice comfortable arcade stick, which is what this has got for, for it. It is, is, plays really well, especially with all the buttons I've added. There's nothing wrong with the original buttons, but the Samwell buttons are, uh, are really are a, a nice luxury upgrade to make it, you know, feel like a real arcade. So Capcom Sports Club, uh, Capcom World 2, Captain Commando, Carrier Ring, Cyberbots, Dark Stalkers, The Night Warriors, Dimahu. Dungeons and Dragons, Shadows of the Mistara and Tower of Doom, Dynasty Wars, Ego Fighters, Final Fight, Forgotten Worlds, Ghouls and Ghosts, Giga Wing, Japan, Jampai, Puzzle Chow Cow, whatever, JoJo's Venture and JoJo no Kimu. Basically, it's a sequel. Uh, oh god, uh, how, how will you pronounce that one? I've got a clue. Dryren Goog. Oh, yeah, just read it yourself, guys. Uh, the King of Dragons, uh, Night of, Knights of Round, Mars Matrix, or Hyper Solid Shooting, Marvel Superheroes, Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of the Superheroes, uh, Magic Sword, Heroic Fantasy, uh, Mega Man the Power Battle, Mega Man 2 the Power Fighters, Mega Twins, Mercs, Mighty Pain. Also, Bomber Duo, Ultimate Team Battle, Nemo, Night Warriors, Dark Storms Revenge, Pain Free, Free Nickels, Pro Gear, which is really nice to have. You know, I really want the console version of this game. Please bring it out, guys. And Nintendo, Nintendo can you please bring it out on the Switch, please? Uh, the Punisher, uh, Puzzle Loop 2, Quiz and Dragon, the Cap Capcom Quiz. Here's Nanny Aero Dreams, uh, Red Earth, Dreams of Disruption, Slam Masters 2, which is like the. Uh, I think that's original. Or was that a two player version of Muscle Bomber? I can't remember now. Uh, Street Fighter 2, World Warrior, and Champion Edition, Champion Edition, the Taiwan Ease version. Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting, uh, Street Fighter, Hyper Street Fighter 2, Anniversary Edition. Super Street Fighter 2 with new challenges, uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter Alpha Warriors Dreams, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 3, uh, Street Fighter 3 New Generation, 
Street of Life, uh, for a second impact giant attack. So a few alterations of the same game, just to say at least. Uh, Street Fighter for e Third Strike Fighter for Future, Street Fighter Zero and Street Fighter Zero Two Alpha. Bloody hell! Uh, Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix, um, Super Puzzle Fighter Two Turbo, Saturday Night Slam Masters, or Mus you know I think that's a prequel to Muscle Bomber, isn't it? Uh, Strider, UN Squadron, Bath Operation Thunderstorm, a really good shooter. Um, yeah, but last level is super tough, unfortunately. But anyway, it's a good game. Uh, Vampire Hunter 2, Darkstalkers Revenge, Vampire Saver, The Lord of Vampire, Vampire Saver 2, The Lord of Vampire, um, um, it's Vampire Saver, The Lord of Vampire, Vampire Saver 2, The Lord of Vampire. Oh, anyway, um, yeah, it's Vampire Saver 2, uh, with a sort of um, interesting picture. Uh, Willow, Warriors of Fate, X Men, X Men Children of the Atom, and X Men vs. Street Fighter. So yeah, it is a pleasure to have these Capcom games on a Neo Geo Arcade stick working all as they should. So yeah, um, okay, um, if anyone is thinking of getting a Neo Geo Arcade stick like this and uh, they're thinking of hacking um, and they're stuck on how to go about doing it and they're quite like what I've done and they like to have a, you know, the same get, you know, same setup as me, by all means just let us know and if you know, if you, we can, uh, we can sort something out, and I can, I'm happy to, you know, put a copy of the files onto an arcade, uh, a memory stick for you, and post it out to you. Um, um, obviously, if you find a memory stick, you know, it's not a problem. Um, uh, if you don't fancy doing all the work to find out how you go about doing the the hack yourself, it's um, the high level hack. It's not the easiest hack to locate, and even when you've located it, like I said, it's not in perfect can stay. There are issues. There are uh, hick hiccups and um, and it's, it requires a bit of learning I would say in terms of getting it to look how you want it to look. I personally like I said didn't want the home console games on this so you can get all the classic home consoles on it if you wish uh, but to be honest I, you know we've got retro pies for that so I'm not really bothered I just wanted a decent arcade stick and this stick is super comfortable it really plays really nice I, you know, I, I like the looks of it now with what I've done to it. Uh, obviously, you can, you know, if you want to customise it, you can choose whatever colour scheme you want. Uh, but I do recommend, uh, you know, going for the professional buttons and stuff from places like Arcade, Arcade World. They're not as expensive as you think, and at least you'll get genuine products from them, not third party rip offs like you might you order the, the so called Sandra buttons off Amazon. Uh, yeah, so I highly recommend it, guys. Uh, this, these sticks, these arcade sticks, I think since the hack has gone up, the price has sort of gone up a little bit. It's about the £140 plus mark it is in some places, some places more. So it's not the cheapest of stick, but it's a lovely stick once you get it. And uh, if you've done what I've done, then you know you get your money's worth guarantee. I've been gradually just working through a lot of the arcade games, really, to be honest. Uh, on these on the sticks, just to you know refresh my memory about all the ones I've played in the past and ones I haven't, and getting to learn some new games too, really. So it's it's nice anyway. I've, and I've got loads of games on the Witcher Pie too, but sometimes it's feel it feels less daunting going through a game list of about two hundred and forty four arcade games compared to one that may have thousands on. You know what I mean? Um, so it's you know it's it's it's, it's it, I like it anyway. This is how I like it. The artwork and everything else. So I'll be really pleased with this little my new toy. Anyway, guys, that's it. Um, as before, like and uh, like and subscribe, uh, leave comments, and uh, hope you're all doing well. Until next time, take care and bye bye.